Hey everybody, Stevie Van here, and uh, I'm not usually a, a YouTube guy, but been uh, found something out today, and I want to share. So I've been using ProPresenter successfully in my live switching environment now for about five or six or seven years. I love it; plays back any kind of video, any kind of graphic. And typically, I'll take the HDMI output uh, of the video, or maybe something with a key and fill, put it in my video switcher, and then I can play video. So here's a little video with some sound playing, and that's going out to. Uh, uh, to the front of house or wherever it's going. The other thing that I'll do is many times I'll use that same input, set up a luminance key, and then I can key a graphic on top of my live video. Again, this is going out, and I would use that in the video switcher. So with one computer, I actually do pretty good of getting back and forth. Well, then what ends up happening is my bosses come when we're in the middle of a video, and they say, hey, Stevie, do you want to put this graphic, this share with your friends on Facebook graphic, on top of that video? Can we do it? Obviously, I can. If I tap it, it goes away. It's kind of frustrating. Um, the only way that I used to know how to do it was I had to create something in the text field. And so here's a here's a sample text that I actually keyed, and you can see it keys right on top of the video, just nice. So then I started thinking, okay, so if I had a if I if this graphic was built uh, as a ping with an alpha channel, you know, built over transparent, what would happen if I added a new slide and went in and edited the slide? And instead of trying to type a bunch of text in here, I went and I found that same Facebook Live graphic. So there it is right there, and I actually edited it and put it on top of. Um, in the edit box in this new slide. So there it is. She shared with friends with Facebook. So you can see these look identical. So watch what happens when I click on it. It keys over the video. So um, if you want to have your pre-produced graphics with alpha channels, just go in and create a new slide, edit the slide, and then when uh, up here you choose the picture icon, Find your graphic that's been pre-produced with uh, uh, with the alpha channel, and uh, here I've got one that uh, that we use for one of our events. I'll put that one in there, and I'll go ahead and close it, and then you can see that when I take it, it keys right on top of the video just fine. If you want to clear it, clear all slides, and your video still rolls. You don't disturb or destroy anything. It was revolutionary, and I had to share it with somebody. So there you go.